and all the nevertheless as all over the world the people that will never mind their business from all over the world that are getting involved themselves in the election that they are not going to vote in united states especially my fellow nigerians my name is ademola Bagbadevo. i am and if you like say i am i am the first nigerian christian apologist I listened to the presidential debate tonight and I have chosen to write some points down, some facts down to, to, so that I can give the apologetic view. I am not a politician, but I am a friend of God. And with this election, they talk about freedom. There's so much talk about freedom. There's so much talk about voting, your conscience, but there's no talk about salvation. After all this election, we're going to end up with heaven, and everybody will stand in front of his creator and say what they believe in, what they have voted for, what they have done while dwelling on this planet. Earth. Let me go straight to the point. They both started, and I think Kamala started talking about was it about plan or what was it by the way my daughter is the one recording me her name is miracle olufade she wouldn't have been there if every hospital was adhering to the policies of obama on embryonic stem cell obama is a full-time antichrist he's a full-time idiot with full benefits and I don't, I will never eat my word. I don't need any acting ambition from Oprah or anybody to be able to speak the truth. I would die with the truth that I, that I believe in. To start with, the very first one, what was it again about? Say it out. Abortion. No, before it preceded, abortion will come later. Okay, I'll start with the one that I wrote. There was a tiny point which might come because Kamala Harris did an argumentum roundabout. And I thought she was a lawyer. She should know better. Most of her points were very illogical. The student loan, Biden promised a student loan that I've not gone through almost four years now. Grandpapa. Obama ruled throughout, and the debate reflected. These people knew that Biden did not want it. They knew that Biden was a failure. And even when they had the first debate, they had a plan to present Kamala. She sounds like Kamala, but I won't hit it if she turns to Kamala. Because one thing I detest in my life is people lying. So, about the student loan, it never went through to today. Nobody had this free student loan, reimburse or whatever, overwritten. Or they didn't override it. And again, now you're, you're right about abortion. Said on abortion that Trump never approved any IVF. You see, that is a pure lie. Democrats are liars. Obama was an enemy of IVF. When he spoke about putting embryonic stem cell to heal Lou Gehry disease. And the Republicans were obviously against it. That is why I would die as a Republican because that is slavery. You are talking that Democrats is a party of the black people, Trump is a racist, but you are putting an embryo, a potential human being, on somebody's soul. To heal. That is witchcraft. That is slavery. That is recontrol. That is revisiting the slavery. Because an embryo, a potential human being, will not be living on somebody's nail. So if the person kneels down, a slave is inside, healing. Diabetic so they will put an embryo there. So you cannot be anti-abortion. And at the same time, be anti IVF. I just want us to use our common sense and logic. And if anybody comes on my platform to say anything 
stupid. I'm going to get on that person's case. This election is different. I will fight on my nails more and I will fight with my mouth. Because I will fight with the logic which is common sense that God has given me. To really appreciate God, you have to have logic. Because if you don't have a good logic, you will not know that this is my creator. You will not know that this is your creator. So to go back, Jesus said, let all the children come for this is the kingdom of heaven. Psalm 128. Your children will gather around your table. So now, abortion, it is my right. Freedom to kill, Abby. I can understand, and the Republicans understand that, if in the case of incest or rape, or the child who is going to endanger the life of the woman, the mother, it can be aborted. So nobody is going to the extreme far to block any woman of their rights. If you know that you're going to do jiggy jiggy, use condom. It's common sense. There's another thing they call diaphragm. Put it on. Stop doing it under the bed. Don't do it in the office. Don't do it in the nightclub. If that is what you choose to do, do it and stop it at the right time. So talk about IVF, abortion, right to kill, right to do this, right to do. You know it's your right. I know somebody in my family that chose not to abort and she gave birth to a genius at the age of 47. What about that? That person is a billionaire now. So if the mother, consider the fact that if Obama's mother was a racist and she said that, a black guy that we they call us in the NIJ, NIG from Africa, or the parents before the time of the well, you right after the the civil rights or uh, this thing, the family, the white family, could say that they don't have anything to do with the black, and this same idiot now came up to begin to abort children. He grew up and got to presidency with the grace of God. All the mess that we are seeing now, Obama created it. He prepped and cooked it. He was the chef in charge. And he was, he's still the one ruling the White House. But when it came to presidential debate, he cannot come to speak for Biden. And that is what we are seeing. Patrobosin said it till he died. May so rest in peace. Obama was an antichrist on the throne. In nominati, everybody was in White House. We know everything that goes on. Talk about immigration. I am an immigrant. And I knew as an immigrant when we were coming into this country too, legally or illegally, we knew some crooks that got in faster than us. They got their green card, they got everything because they were crooks. And the same thing, what happened in the University of Georgia? I had forgot the name. The lady was killed last year at the University of Georgia by an immigrant, illegal alien. You leave your country to, for a safe haven and you are not committing crime. Everybody in America is an illegal alien. Or oh, it was once an illegal alien or immigrant, whatever. So it's not a big deal. I can speak about it. Yes. But what I'm saying is, don't come to a country that God has blessed you to enter. We saw how people struggle with children on the river. I've seen a video of family that got killed and the video that they had when an animal sucked their blood in the desert of California just to cross. Only an atlas person would not want them to come in. But why would they come in and begin to to commit crime. The city of Lawrenceville, they chased a lot of immigrants away because they were the DUIs. I will not mention the ethnicity, 
they were always drinking and driving. And they, may, they had to apply very high punishment on them. And that is why the court system was relieved of DUI, DUI, DUI. I went for my in-law's wedding. I was hit by a DUI and he ran away. A friend followed him. He denied it. He denied it. So what kind of lifestyle is that you come to country, you take advantage, this is a land of opportunity, take advantage of it, bless God with what you have achieved by coming out of a, me a mess. We left our country because of corrupt politicians. So now, I will not deviate too much. Then another one that I recorded was uh, rally that uh, Trump's rally, people left Trump's rally. I was in Columbus, Georgia. I was in uh, Macon, Georgia. I got there three hours earlier. Seven miles to the rally. It was traffic, it was jam-packed. So people have the right to leave early in case to avoid another traffic on their way home. It happened in my church. I go to a mega church in Atlanta, Post Baptist, during the time of Dr. Stanley. Some people, even up till now, people leave a little bit early. Right after the benediction. They don't wait for because they, they, that's why we have the police presence in the church and everything. So what is Kamala talking about? She's not talking any sense. Everything was a roundabout. Oh, which other one? Immigrant. People don't go to rally, whatever. And that was not Donald Trump said that people hardly go to Kamala's rally. <laughs> That's funny. And another thing about people eating pets, and even the moderator said that they didn't believe it. But if you go to, I know some cultures, subculture, not culture. There's a subculture in my own tribe. They eat dogs and cats. And it happens, we know, it's some subculture in China, do. And they are all immigrants, they are here. I was at Mr. Lee's shop in Hostel. A pit bull, I don't like dogs that much. And a pit bull was hugging me, embracing me, to the point that I had to go to Howdy every time I go to, the, to Mr. Lee. May he so rest in peace, too. And I will buy food for that uh, snack, for that pit bull, grayish brown beautiful body it was a puppy but always hugging me and there was another person from my subculture right beside it and the man confessed to me that no matter how if you hit a dog 50 years ago another dog will smell it on you and that was why the dog when he sees this guy that guy went there every day the dog was always barking So by telling that Donald Trump is lying, it's something you all know. It's people that are watching me from my subculture, they know that this one happened. Even in this America, there are people that are doing it. Probably we just don't catch them. So what is the big deal? Everything this man says, you jump on him. He has the agenda of God in him. You tell all the things Kamala was talking is freedom, abortion. She mentioned it about seven times. So I have every right to mention it about 20 times too. Because that is not what we need in America now. People should stop lining up with their Mercedes Benz begging for food in the church. I took all the pictures in churches and I volunteer with food banks too. People will line up SUV, BMW, waiting for food to be tossed in their trunk. That is how far America has gotten. And you were there. It was in your time when you were with Biden at the White House and you are still with him. And nothing gets done. Unfortunately, pandemic came. There was pandemic 100 years ago. Economy, everything was good before pandemic. And Donald Trump tried his best. Pamela lacks simple table etiquette. She interjected, interrupted Donald Trump more than five times. So the Trump that Trump had to tell him uh, that I am talking. Does that sound familiar? The same way that she insulted 
Is it pens or spens? Pens. When they were doing the VP campaign or debate. So I go to my next point on anesthesia. Uh, uh, rhetoric. He said she said that Trump had a very bad rhetoric or whatever. I don't believe that. And let's that that was in reaction to the pets, to eating the pet. Then the worst economy. But she, like I mentioned, she forgot about COVID. She said that Trump is always looking for millionaire. <laughs> Loud for the millionaire. We have millionaires in every culture. And there's nothing we can do to that. So long as a capitalistic economy, some people will get richer. And some people will get poorer. No matter how the government does it. But that will not be our portion to be poor. So saying that somebody looks at it, a president should look out for everybody. Not only for the poor. Not only for the poor. It's even better in the United States. In Africa, the millionaires, the politicians are stealing money. So then the, she says 16 Nobel Prize winner criticized Trump. That is not true. Most of the Nobel Prize winners are Democrats. And they are Republican. They are not Democrats. A Nobel Prize winner doesn't have the mind of a Democrat. Majority of them. Uh, character. When Trump was in the casino business, everybody in America, they went there to gamble. They make money. Everybody loved his casino. Everything he did, everybody loved it. Because he's an old money kid. Now, you use that against him at an election. Then character. This is just a character assassination to me. Like Trump said, she has no plan. And the most thing that concerns me most in the, the thing that concerns me most in this is the abortion. I am not controlling any woman's right, but I believe that all children are from God. If we were not protected, we would not be here. So those children should be protected. Don't get to let child develop inside you before you decide you can control it. And that is what they are called saying. That was why a lot of people, especially in the black world, died of HIV. Because they refused to be protect, to protect themselves. If you protect yourself, it will not get to that point of killing a child. Thou shalt not kill. That is what the word of God said. Ten commandments. Uh, and if you have the fear of God, what is the fear of God? Fear of God is the love of God. When you look out for the policies of God, if you go to any work, there is a lot of policies you must address to, mission statement, and you must follow it. Why is it that every time it gets to the will of God, we mess up? What's going on? Then... Uh, What's the name? Tariff and all this is all rubbish. On um, American cheap. Um, and Trump claimed that she accused of Trump of selling American American cheap. He came from Taiwan. Then at China. There was a reference to China and Taiwan in that one. And the logic was clear. So then another one is horrible nine months there you see abortion again it's just roundabout 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 why do we have to do that and we will you want to come to the white house rule you're talking about freedom you got oprah obama all of them to speak for you oprah was crying like a baby but when oprah developed a business a tv show it was all white people always all white audience i was here in 1990 all white audience. You hardly can you see black people there. Then you will not go to the top. You will not be talking about Rissy Taylor, this and that. They are all actors. The agenda of the Democrat Party is agenda of Antichrist. And if you are a Christian, you follow it, your salvation will be questioned. Because you will see your God and stand before your Creator 
and you will talk about it again. You will deal with it. So I have about three. I don't have time to waste myself on anything, but I just will go and jump because I must have been like doing 20 minutes now. Um, fraud, let people... Fanny Willis too was there was a reference to Fanny Willis, the one that did everything to to, to lock him up, and she called him Mister Idiot. <laughs> you see, she's probably the sister idiot too. Uh, termination of constitution, uh, reference to Franklin. Franklin, the reference to Franklin is about oil, which is what we call bunkering in Nigeria, illegal oil tapping. In a very unconventional way. Kamala has made reference to that about five times. Is that the plan? You mention it once and you use another thing. Roundabout. Argumentum illogical. Argumentum misericandum. That's all she was doing. Back and forth. Name calling Kamala, then defunding the police. We all saw it at the riot. Only the Democrats and all the riot mob were all talking about defunding the police. How would you defund the police? Debate is going on. Somebody begins to break into my house. Will I be able to get police to defund me, to defend me and my family? Most of I don't have a gun. She confessed that she has a gun now. And you are now, you, all of you are talking about gun, accusing somebody of gun. She has a gun. I don't have a gun. With all the security that surrounds her, she has a gun. You see? So you are the type of your children. You, you are giving back to your type of children in the schools. Last week I was driving in Winder, about the same time that they were doing the shooting. I passed in front of one of those schools. So you can imagine that they are complaining, how do we end this shooting in the mall, shooting in the world? You too, you own a gun. You see, that is double standard. Then she's the border czar. It was in their time that everybody was coming into U.S. They knew never. In fact, I was talking to some guys last week. When they came into power, the first week, there was something that Trump started in Colorado to bring money to a lot of poor people. and They went in, they came in and killed that project immediately to avenge Obamacare or whatever. That's sad. Then another one is, there's reference to Pelosi. I never admired that woman. Since the day she tore the paper at the house, she's a talk too. Uh, character assassination, weak, pathetic, 40 million votes. I don't really remember. Let me go to the, yeah. Was it, um, Biden had 40 million votes. And he came in and did nothing. Disappointed everybody. Biden is a fraud. Career politician. Israel Hamas, Kamala against, you see, Kamala, there was no reference to the fact that she's married to a Jew. But she was accusing uh, Trump. She was accusing Trump about the war, security for the Palestinians. That Trump did not care for the security for the Palestinians. A person that is married to a Jew. She's anti-Palestinian. She's not looking out for the Palestinian that she was munching. She's just trying to cast their vote to cash to cash in on their votes. Then another one is Kim Jong Young. Trump used to call him the rocket man. They didn't get along, but in the interest of peace, Trump went there. They had to meet at a middle place with intermediary. You remember? At least for a country, president of US, he, he stooped down, he reduced himself to the same height, <laughs> to the same level. Just to make peace, he was the one that did the Abrahamic covenant that got ruined with Hamas now. So, Russia and Ukrainian. I believe, this is funny, Nigerians should listen to this. That war, God should have stopped it. But God prolonged that war because of Sunday Adelaja. Sunday Adelaja was an evangelist who thought 
Ukraine will never fall down. He was insulting people like Baba Deboye. Touch not my anointing. So God is doing that to reduce Ade, Ade Laja to nothing. I want Sunday Ade Laja several times. And the Jebu boy that went to become a refugee in Ukraine and he was lucky because that was the time of the Great Awakening there. You started running your mouth. He will not even say Dr. Adeboye. How many doctors in the family of Sunday Adelaja? Then you now begin to run Adeboye, 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 a great mathematician. I have a great mathematician in my family. They all respect Baba Adeboye. Well, well, my uncle, grandpa, you know, grandpa Ho, you remember, he's a great mathematician, he's an actuary. And they all respect Baba Deboye. Even the first time I heard so much about Baba Deboye's integrity was from his wife. And one at this time, I want to read will just begin to because you already become a pastor somewhere. So that is one of the reasons. And it is true, Trump said he would have quenched the war by talking to both of them. What did Biden do? He foiled it. He was making power tussle with Russia. You don't get behind one when there is a war that never connected you. Israeli Hamas connects to us a little bit. Not only that the Lord said that we should always bless the Jews, but at the same time, majority of the Jews... They have dual citizenship of United States and Israel. And that is very clear. So she accused Trump, you are, no, you, are, you are not running against Mr. Biden, you are running against me. That is a fallacy. But it is, your, it is you that has been with Biden for three years and nothing got done until he started speaking like a dumbass. At the debate. He knew he was not competent. He should have come out truly to the whole nation. All the time. I told my children, my child. The time he was using those ray ban To impress, to look younger. I knew he had lost it. My father had ray ban in the early 60s. The same ray ban. And she just kept interrupting Trump. A lawyer, a vice president with no etiquette. Is that the one people we're going to put in the White House? We thank God for the for the silence speaker. And even upon it, she was still jumping. That is the attitude of a street girl. You lie that you are an, you are a, you are Jamaica when your father is white. Your mother is from Asia. And she, there's a reference to Cam Davis that Trump brought some people to Cam Davis to settle. That's not the first time. They brought Donnie Osama too. Uh, although that's a Republican too. They had to evacuate Obama's family and they put them in a meeting and talked to them. Uh, racism, Central Park. Yeah, about the Central Park killer. Accusing Trump of supporting the prosecution of those people. Now you are putting racism in it talking about color and everything. But the, the according to Donald Trump, the, those people, the criminals, they came to court to appeal that they were guilty. So if they were guilty, that means they agree that they did it. And you call yourself a prosecutor. What do we do if a person plead guilty? They might reduce the sentence, but they will still deal with it. The judgment will still be passed. Then uh, small business, too much talk about small business. You are helping small business. I've been in small business for more than 30 years in this country. I was never helped at one time. Even during pandemic. So that's a lie. Um, affordable care and all this. This is the thing that progressed into Obamacare. What did he do? I didn't see anything. Climate change, that is a real fallacy too. I don't see any climate change. I've been in this country for 30 years. I don't believe in climate change. The summer was still as hot as it is. 
and it was not it's the same thing all over summer it did may after labor day climate change right away so what's so she has no point then closing then she talked about the future of america she has the future line up abortion again that is the future of america kill every genius in their womb are you okay that is what she wants are you okay okay if you say that what you want to be a vice president that you want to ask anybody are you okay well what is the will of god is god happy period is god happy that said and i think i must have covered everything i needed defund the policy i've done that one then this was strong conclusion he do say promises and i just saw the roundabout of camilla coming in again and Trump was, Trump was talking about avoiding the Third World War. With his bottom line, Trump or Kamala, vote for the will of God. Go to your sacred scriptures. What did God say about children? About violence, killing in school, is witchcraft too. You imagine the one in Georgia recently, it was the father that helped the child to buy a gun. They said they gave him 100 years. I want him to be there for 500 years. And it's good that they did not give that child a death sentence. Because if he's dead, he will not live to be dealing with what he did. But while he's alive, he's going through some hard labors in the prison. Just the way they brought Saddam here and returned him back home to be killed. That is how to deal with a crook and criminal. Anyway, I stand with the will of God. Look at the cross of Jesus. I stand. I have a very dangerous anointing. Watch what you say to me. And I mean it this time. Trump is coming back. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Praise the Lord.